What's going on guys here sports cards coming at you with another video today. Yes, I just saw the time we went to a card show I was gonna film there and do like a vlog style thing, but I decided not to I don't really know why to be honest. I just I just didn't want to When I was there, I got so caught up in the moment buying cards and everything. We had a, such a successful show These are all new cards. We added to the collection um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers. You just joined the channel. I really appreciate you um, Go check out the discord link down below and I'm also gonna be introducing a new form of media um in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that guys but i finally went to card show if you guys don't know i have an autoimmune disease so i haven't been able to go to a card show for a long time because of covid and it's very risky for me but i'm double vaxxed up i had a mask on and everything and, and like, even more gloves um because i have to protect myself so here we go guys um, i'm pumped to kind of get into this and show you what we picked up so i want to start off with this brady cracked ice uh football out of 25 this i didn't necessarily pick up at the show I only put this in because I hadn't put it on the channel yet, but this was actually, um, uh, I got it from a mail day that I had, which was great. So this is picked up, not from the show, but nice four to 25 Tom Brady with the football in the middle, cracked ice from Panini National. You guys know I love Tom Brady. This thing's never leaving the collection. Beautiful, beautiful card. So Brady ice to 25. So again, let's get into what we got in the show. We got a bunch of good stuff so let's start off with some lower end stuff this is like the only low end like the only lower end ish stuff that i picked up so these were a buck each so i picked up this gibson rookie i just thought it looked cr great clean centering um corners looked nice up and top uh, up and down so i thought hey why not pick up my first uh, optic card of the year so donner's red rookie and then i also picked up um, this nice Nikhil Harry, Nikhil Harry optic for a buck. I know he's not the greatest, but I'm a Pats fan. And, you know, for a dollar, why not? Sure, it's a little off-centered, but again, it's $1. I thought, heck, heck, why not? Let me pick it up. So these two were, were the lower end stuff. And let's get into the good stuff. All right, so I want to start off with, first off, um, we picked up everything you see here in a massive lot, except for these last two cards, which are pretty big cards, which I'm pumped. So everything else is in a lot. Um, so yeah, here we go. So 34 to 99. This is a rookie, um, to 2019 plates and patches of Kyler Murray triple patch. So nice stuff, solid patches. Then we got this from 2019. I think this is what gold standard football. So this is, um, Daniel Jones, Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray chunky patch on Kyler Murray and a nice patch on Daniel Jones in a different color, you know, than the usual, just red on the Dwayne Haskins, just was super cool um this is numbered i do believe yep out of 49 so that was nice so um i was kind of hyped about getting this card in so again all this was part of a lot next card is this brandon iuk origins rpa always loved origins iuk's underrated um and for the price of this law it was kind of insane um they got all these cards for just an insane price i'm not going to share prices i will say half the deal i traded away my tatum uh, PSA 9 for all of these with some cash. So that was the trade I did. Um, so Ayuk RPA Origins, not numbered, but still cool. Picked up some Juju uh, Juju Smith-Schuster here. So it's the Impeccable RPA um, out of 75. I thought that was an interesting pickup there. Oh, maybe this is an RPA, but it is just an Impeccable uh, Patch Auto. Then, yeah, okay, so it wasn't an RPA, but this was a silver hollow. It has a very clean surface. It's just the scruffs are on the, the magnetic. Um, I actually should probably change the mag anyways. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. Yeah, I should take it out because I think I'm going to change this magnetic anyways. But clean card on the Juju. This is to 99 So, hey, why not for a, a rated rookie hollow auto to 99 to add into this lot? Again, the Tatum and Cash, um, it was pretty, it was just, I was I was shocked when I asked for the price of all the cards. I thought it was going to be a lot more than it actually was. All right, this is a fun one. It looks like I'm going to have to rip the team bag for this one. Not a big deal. But... Got to give some booklets some love. 
This is an AJ Brown booklet to 175, NFL 100. Bang, you got the big patch and then you get the on card. <laughs> so that was beautiful. So I thought, hey, why not scoop this up? So nice AJ Brown pickup for me. But it couldn't stop with one AJ Brown. You have to get two AJ Browns. So I did just that. This is a beautiful card to 49, a beautiful patch, Origins RPA. Um, it is sticker auto, but it is what it is. But, oh, you got the Panini seal on the top, too. I mean, this is just a beautiful card, in my opinion. So, pick that up with everything else. Um, this was awesome, an awesome, awesome find. J.K. Dobbins, RPA, one of one. This is from 2020 Panini XR Football. So, one of one, Dobbins, RPA, which I thought was sick. I mean, look at that chunk patch there. That's awesome, in my opinion. So, I was like, heck. I got to pick it up, of course. So I had a feeling, I thought it could be part of a B in Dobbins on his jersey when you flip it upside down. I'm not sure, but 101 Dobbins. By the way, if you're interested in any of these cards, let me know. Then I got two triple autos. So the first one um, was Dak Prescott, Connor Cook, and Christian Hackenberg. You got the patches and the autographs. This one is out of 20 uh, from Panini Phoenix. So super clean card. You got Dak on there. It's a rookie. So I thought, heck, why not pick it up? Um, Dak's great. And I know Connor Cook and Hackenberg don't play it, but for the price, this was insane to get this card. So thought that was a, a nice little pickup to get. This is going to be followed by the bigger triple auto. This is sick. This is just sick. And, and again, the, the scratches are on the case. So we got Leonard Fournette, Christian McCaffrey, and Dalvin Cook with patches. And look at that. Look at that patch. That's insane. This one's out of 30. Um, but the patches were just too good to pass up on this card for the price that I got it at. It was, it was just insane. I mean, look at that. Bang. I love Panini Phoenix and just this patch is just awesome. 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 So all right, coming down the line, these are the three bigger cards I did pick up. So I'm pumped about this. We got two basketball, and the biggest one is a football card because it's been pretty football heavy. This Shea just Alexander out of 35 was indeed part of the lot. This is the dual patch or the dual relic um, out of 35 from Panini 1 and 1. This was 2019, so I do believe it's a rookie. So that that was awesome um, to scoop. Maybe it's not a rookie. Uh you know, I'm not sure actually, but still great nonetheless for the price of the lot. Um, it was just insane. All right. So these last two cards I got without the lot. This RJ Barrett, I got the deal of my life on. I will be 100% honest. I got the deal of my life. This thing, I cannot believe what I got it for. It, it was absurd. I don't want to give away the next card because it's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to like, oh, I think I just gave it away. But this was the RJ Barrett rookie. RPA out of 35 from Panini 1 and 1. This thing was awesome. There was a little scuffing on the case, but that didn't matter. For the price I got this was absurd. Absurdly good. Oh, I was just, it's crazy. So um, I'm going to hold on for the playoffs. The Knicks are going to be in the playoffs. So I will definitely probably be flipping um, this card. I'm not a huge basketball collector, but this, it was just too good of a price to pass up on. So this is a nice RJ Barrett 1 and 1. If you're interested in any of these cards, remember, shoot me a DM. I can probably work something out for you. All right, the last card here, this is Demonte Parker I've had in my collection for a long time, if you've been following me. Here we go. You see it is flawless here. Rookie. You can probably already tell who it is. Saquon Barkley, five out of five. Boom. So I traded one of the Tatum PSA 9s plus some cash. Um, I also, in the big lot that I got, I got a Kyler Murray Relic out of 15. And I also traded that. So I traded the Tatum, the Kyler Murray Relic out of 15, and a little cash for this Saquon Flawless 5 out of 5 RPA. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look at that patch. That's insane. So, guys, it was a successful run, in my opinion. This was awesome. Hopefully, I'm going to go to a card show tomorrow. Although, I don't know if I'll post a recap right away of that card show since we, you know, I just posted this one. So look for that later in the week. Um, I talked to Kenneth Fornos. Uh, if you guys don't know him, he's on YouTube. 
and uh, he does he makes some great card show videos. I actually interviewed him, so that could be tomorrow's video. I'm not really sure. Um, hopefully, some retail hunting stuff during the week. Who knows, guys? We have a lot of content to put out for you guys, um, so I'm pumped about that. Guys, that's going to do it for me today. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe down below. Join the Discord. Um, join as a member of the channel. Uh, join as a member of the channel, guys. You get some great perks being a member of the channel. So I do recommend. Uh, really, anything helps out the channel. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great day. Peace.